Linda's Pantry. So today, I'm gonna make my own mayonnaise. I've done this before and I, you know, you get lazy sometimes, but I wanna do it on a little different note than I usually do, and so I thought, why not uh, bring you along and see how it comes out? All right, so we're gonna make a little bit of mayonnaise and it's not gonna take very much time at all and it just is gonna be healthy and nutritious and it won't have any of those preservatives that the mayonnaise from the grocery store has. So let's, I hope this inspires you to go make some of your own mayonnaise and, and see how easy it is. It really is a simple task. So um, if you like this, I hope you get a thumbs up somewhere along the line. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you go ahead and subscribe and maybe go over to my Facebook page. That's in the description box below right next to my Wild Tree website where you can go search all natural, all organic products and check out what I'm using. All right, guys, come on, let's go make some mayonnaise. Okay, guys, I'm glad you decided to stay and I'm gonna get going on this. It's super easy and it's really delicious. Homemade mayonnaise is so delicious. So I'm gonna make one with a little more lemon flavor than usual and because I'm using, I'm gonna use the grapeseed oil. Seed oils are healthier for you. So um, I wanna use this grapeseed oil and this is the zesty lemon flavored grapeseed oil. We're gonna do this. I've got a whole organic, fresh, organic, cage-free egg. Now some people only use the yolk, so I'm gonna use the whole thing. I'm gonna do a splash of, because mm, I like a little vinegar tang to mine. Splash of vinegar, some salt, a little tiny bit of dried mustard, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. There you go. Because that again will give it a little added flavor. And now that I'm already working my machine here, I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl in the bottom of this container. So I really feel like I've got a good blend on that. And then I'm going to start adding the oil. Just a little bit at a time. can still see what I'm doing. Yep. Let me bring in a little bit closer so you can watch in the close-up. Sorry about the noise, but I might actually put some music in here. So I'm going to pause you so you don't have to listen to this forever and ever. And I'll be back when we have many. Okay, so it is done. And you know it's done when you really can't incorporate, you know, you want the consistency of mayonnaise. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. Towards the end, you can add more oil at, the, at one time. So it's a little easier to get it all incorporated. And so I'm just going to take my spatula. 
can get as much out of here as possible. And let's get this in the sink. It never wants to cooperate. So now I'm gonna grab a napkin here. I'm just gonna put this into a container. I wanna make sure you can still see everything I'm doing. And it's got a little, instead of a, a real yellow hue, because the grapeseed oil naturally is green, it's got that green hue to it, but it doesn't matter. If you put herbs in your mayonnaise, make an aioli, something like that, you're gonna change the color as well. Most homemade mayonnaise has a yellow hue because of the yolk. You can make this with olive oil. I, I quite often will buy mayonnaise made with olive oil. Basically what you're looking for is a mixture that has been emulsified enough, but it hasn't you know, broken. And that means that the oil and egg will not combine or emulsify. But you don't have to, if something like that happens, you don't have to throw it away. So here we have this beautiful mayonnaise. And I'm just gonna give it a taste test. And how healthy is that? Heart healthy, made with grapeseed oil, and it's gonna have that lemony brightness to it. Can't wait. Mmm. Wow, it's creamy and lemony. And it's got that little bite of the vinegar. It's absolutely delicious. I can't wait to have it on a sandwich. Mm, wow. This would be delicious with artichokes. Um, if you like to dip your artichokes, something like that. But this will be our sandwich spread for this week. So how easy was that? It took me literally five minutes to do this. So guys, I hope it inspires you to come back. I really, truly hope it inspires you to try making your own mayonnaise. You can do it as easy as what I just did with a couple of ingredients. You could do it with strictly just eggs and oil as well. So that being said, I hope it brings you back because I have a lot more videos coming up. And as always, guys, God bless.